There's something magical about watching good anime because you forget you're watching one. It walks this fine line of balancing acts to make you immerse in itself. Most anime make you feel that something's off and make you go, yep, Shinzo no Kododa. The skinny man in his birdies wrote this. Other times, it's a shitty generic copy pasted world that 50,000 other isekai writers and Suicide Squad apparently have used. Oh, there's orcs, goblins, and elves? Who could have seen that coming? So fucking unique that I'm crying my eyes out. A fine job, Hitoshi. Let me get a tattoo of it on my neck that my grandkids will ask me about in 50 years. Grandpa, what's that on your neck? This. This is Yue, the lowly vampire from the anime, from Common Blade. This is why dad wants to pull the plug, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you see something that does everything to near perfection. The characters behave like real human beings. The world makes sense, the music and voice acting and all other aspects make you forget yourself and drown in the beautiful fiction being played on your screen. And none of that applies to this fever dream that says fuck the fine line and fuck the immersion balancing act. In fact, let's do the opposite and walk the line backwards. There's a girl with antlers on her head that considers herself a deer. And I guess she is because she can fucking talk to them. No, no. The student council president girl with perfect everything is actually a former delinquent. That was inspired by Tokyo Revengers. That is actually a sundry that has a Cisco sister that wants to sleep with her. And CG deers that look severely out of place are everywhere. Opening, deer. Transition, deer. Ending, deer. Dear, 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 everywhere. Dear God, help me. <clears throat> have you thought about hormone replacement therapy? What does that have to do with Bureau? The narrator and characters are aware of each other. They make comments on the manga they're adapting. They throw shade at activists that go after every little useless thing. How dare you? And the list keeps going. Also, Jojo reference. Plot? Fuck plot. Get some character tropes and weird ideas. Throw them in the blender. Throw in some pop culture references. Dial it up to 100 and you have masterpieces like this. Now I am become death. The destroyer of worlds. If you don't know how to feel about that, welcome to the club because I don't know either. But what I do know is that this scratch is a part of my ADHD infested brain in a way I never knew I wanted. But you know what's the real kicker? I mean, it should be in a thumbnail or something, but this anime is made by Wet Studio. The same studio behind Attack on Titan, Spy Family, Ancient Mega Sprite, Osama Ranking, and a bunch more. Excuse the fuck out of me. Now I know that there are multiple different teams in every studio working on different projects with varying level of scopes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I think that's how it works. But knowing that the name Web Studio is attached to this makes scenes like these. times funnier. They knew what this was and like the giga chats that they are, they dabbled down on it. And like the high quality YouTuber that I am, subscribe, I, 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 I read the manga and they changed a lot from order of chapters to how it plays out, added a bunch on top and fitted cocaine. They knew that the only way to have a somewhat decent anime adaptation of this was to bet on the nonsense and the show is self-aware of it. <laughs> It's concentrated, brain dead comedy, and I hate that I like it so much. Although I always knew my sense of humor was kind of fucked, I just didn't know it was this bad. Do the thing as YouTubers want, I'm out of here. Bye bye.